Sewer TV Hydro Jetting and Plumbing here. This is a walkthrough of a house in Austin that we're going to do a lining job on. This is kind of a how we would do it. This is a rotted out section when they did a foundation repair. They found that. It's old cast iron. This is a view from that hole in that bathroom, in that bedroom, out to the clean out out front. You can see the pipe is rotted out at the bottom. Big crack in it. It's from 60, 70 years in service. That's the clean out outside. It's daylight. This is the going the other way to the back toilet. This is sorry, in the back toilet, you're about to see the water flush. That's the toilet flushing. I'm going to pull it back, and you'll see that that section is rotted out as well. So this is the view from that hole back up underneath. There it's rotted out at the bottom. You can see that crack. I go by it pretty fast, but you can see the kitchen line tie-in on the right-hand side right there. So this whole pipe's rotted out the entire length. So we're going to line this, resize it, then line it. Okay, so we're cameraing the kitchen line. Here's the camera head. So the kitchen line runs from there through the ground. Ties in like right there. We're in this main right here. So I'm in that hole right there you saw earlier. I'm in the main. Now I'm about to pull into the kitchen line. Right there you can see the mains rotted out right there at the left. As so I come into the kitchen line, it's got heavy buildup and it's rotted out. You know, it, it has a design life of 50 years and this is a 67 year old house. So it did its job. We're going to line that section, that main going from the front yard up into the bathroom. We had lined over this kitchen line and abandoned it and reroute the kitchen line to the laundry room in the side. I'll explain that in the video at the end here. But this would take a lot of jetting, a lot of resizing, and it would be a gamble to whether or not you blow this all apart trying to get it up and round in order to line it. When a reroute is more cost effective. Now this is a 40 foot kitchen line. Just heavy build up, 50 years of use. There. We're camping from the laundry. So that's all PVC, as you can see on the video. We're camping from here. I've already dug this up. All of this. So this is the the new bathroom, the remodeled bathroom that they put in. They redid all the plumbing. I mean, they actually added plumbing and tied it into the sewer out front. This is Camry from the laundry line. I'm about to go down and flush the toilet and you'll see the water go by right here. This is the laundry tying into the, the main. That's the toilet flushing in that bathroom. It's all PVC, perfectly fine. Leave it alone. Lasts forever coming up to the clean out out front and you saw in the video earlier that's daylight this next part is the walkthrough of the house explaining the process of lining what we're going to do 
So from this clean out out here, which goes into the house, we're gonna line cast iron. You had a lift here. There's your lift and there's your ride out cast iron. On the other side of that window is the clean out. So we got a line from there through here, through this ride out section, all the way up to the turn for this toilet that you'll see in the video. The lavvy, the tub tie in in the wall in the ground right there. Condensate line, your air conditioner right here. It's a condensate line. We'll tunnel back this way. Grab it, put it in a fitting right here, and tie the condensate line in. Kitchen line ties in right here. So I'm all the way back here. That's the kitchen. We're going to abandon the kitchen line and reroute it. Instead of going in that way, we're going to turn around, come over here. We're going to tie it into the bottom of this laundry line. The laundry and that other bathroom have been completely redone already. It's already in PVC. <clears throat> so we're going to grab the kitchen line, drag it over to here. That gives you a completely new sewer. Okay, so when it's done lining, we're going to patch backfill this dirt into this hole, pour concrete into this hole, Backfill this hole, pour concrete. And pour concrete into this hole here. 